Hello folks and welcome to MATLAB and Automotive channel. In today's video, we'll perform ML testing using Excel. So let's start. Here we are having a model. In part 1 of ML testing, we have developed simple logic for wiper control mechanism and we have written the test cases in signal builder. Today we will write the test cases in Excel. So take new Excel worksheet, rename it, the first column will be time, the second is key of a vehicle, the third is knob to turn on the wiper. The fourth is rain sensor and fifth is wiper output reference. So the time will start from zero and will gradually increase with respect to the sample time. So sample time in our model is 0.1 so it will be 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 and 0.4 at 0th instance or we can say at 0 second the key is off the knob is off rain sensor is not giving any input so the output will be off that is wiper output will be off at point 0.1 second, the key is turned on, the knob is turned on, but rain sensor is not giving an input, the wiper will be on. At point 0.2 second, the key is turned on, knob is off, the rain sensor is giving true input, so the wiper output reference will be on at point three second the key is on the knob is on wiper is giving true input so the wiper output reference will be on at point four second the key is on but knob is zero brain sensor is giving false input So the output will be zero. Now save it and delete the blank sheets to avoid error during importing Excel in Signal Builder. Again save it. Now go to model. Here we'll import Excel. So double click on Signal Builder, go to File, Import from File, Browse, Test Data, Open, Select Sheet, then replace existing data set, confirm your selection, apply. Now it will ask you to save previous data set. So no. Okay. Here we have written the test cases till 0.4 second. So we'll change the time for 0.4 second. Now connect your signal builder with the model and the test. And run. Now we can compare the output, actual output with the reference output. And here you can observe that we are getting error or a failure 
with the magnitude of 10 to the power minus 16. So basically inputs are boolean but we have written the test cases in excel and the output that we are getting from this signal builder is double. So we'll use data conversion block. We'll select data type to boolean apply ok and run it now here you can observe that your all test cases are passed Now we'll check the coverage. So go to analysis, coverage, settings, coverage for this model, select decision, MCDC, apply, OK, and run it again. Here you will get the coverage report. You can observe that MCDC coverage is about 75%. We'll check it into model and you can observe that we are not satisfying the coverage for AND operator. So we'll write one more test case to cover at 0.5 second. Let's say the key is 0, the knob is 1, the range sensor is giving input as a true and the wiper will be off. Save it. Go to signal builder, file import from file browse select test data open it select the sheet replace existing data set confirm your selection apply no import without saving okay so here we are Writing the test cases up to 0.5 second, change the time to 0.5 second, connect your input, and run it. Now you can observe that you are getting 100% coverage and your all test cases are passed. So that's it guys for today. I hope you like this video. Please like, comment, share and subscribe this channel. Thank you.